Hey guys, it's Sanem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, it's another Mac video, another Mac collection video. You guys know I'm always hooking you up with them. So in today's one, it is gonna be the brand new Mac Times Tiana Taylor collection. And I am living for this collection. So I picked up quite a few bits and I'm gonna be swatching them and demonstrating everything in this video today. So I am actually wearing one of the combos right now and you guys will see that. And I'm just loving this vibe. It's very 90s, it's very bright, vivid, fluorescent and yes, so this is going to be just a fun little video. Also, congrats to Tiana Taylor and Mac for collaborating and coming up with such a gorgeous and fun collection. And I absolutely love that these shades are versatile and universal. And yeah, I just think it was very well thought out. I will also have links down below for everything. So if you guys want to go and check them out for yourself, then I will just link everything and make it easy for you guys. I know most of you guys clicked on this video to see these swatches, so I'm not going to ramble anymore. Let's just jump straight into it. I'm going to dive straight into the products and I'm going to show you guys the packaging first of all which is so cute it is bright neon bright pink bright green orange it's so fun it's so fluorescent so vivid and i absolutely love it so that's what i went for with this kind of vibe and we're just going to jump straight into it so i think i'm going to start off with the mineralized skin finish which you guys have probably seen i want to see so this is the mineralized skin finish and this is what the packaging looks like super gorgeous and this is in the shade House of Petunia. And this is what it looks like. It is a bright pink. It's like a matte finish as well. And it really reminds me of the MAC Heverett collection. So it's very uh, kind of old school MAC. I love that they did this. So it is a typical mineralized skin finish. And I am going to compare it to MAC's Gold Deposit and Global Glow because I have both of those. But this is what it looks like. And I will include some shots of it in different lighting as well. And I'm just excited to try this out. Also with the Mineralize Skin Finish, it is a very velvety smooth finish and it just glides on the skin. It looks like butter, it's not powdery. So I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. And I'm gonna be using my MAC 129 brush, which looks like this. And I'm just gonna pick some up and a lot comes off on the brush already. So I'm just gonna go in and, because I don't know how pigmented this is and what the shade is like. So I'm just gonna apply it over my blusher and the blusher I'm using is also from MAC. It's MAC Gingerly. Just gonna sweep it. Ooh. Look how flat this side looks and look how just glowy you see right here how it's just lifted up my face that's crazy it's added a beautiful light gold shimmer and this doesn't look dark on my skin and i'm very fair just for reference i am a mac nc15 slash nc20 so when you guys see everything on me um that is my shade and that just adds the light lightest little gold sheen little gold glow so i'm building it up and i'm loving it you can use it as like a blush topper but i'm also going to go in with a real techniques fan brush and i'm going to concentrate it more as a highlighter that is a blinding highlight so i have built it up just slightly and you can see it is a gorgeous wet looking um kind of light gold shade i actually think i prefer this side more because it looks a little more natural it looks like i'm going from within and it's given me just a really soft finish um on this side whereas this side is more blinding so i do like that you can wear it for both ways you can wear it both ways so i'm just going to do a little more up here Oof. you see that right there this is a really, really nice shade. And it definitely is a gold with bronze accents. I can see maybe a slight little bronziness to it. So this is what it is looking like on this side and this side. Let me know what you think. I'm just gonna pull out the mineral, other mineralized skin finishes to compare them to. And then we have all of the other ones. So you guys can see it's completely different. This one is gold deposit. This one's gonna be beautiful on deeper skin tones. We have global glow, more for medium skin tones and fair skin tones. And then House of Petunia, the Tiana one. Uh, MAC does say that it works for a range of skin tones, but looking at it now, it is very pale compared to the other shades that I showed. 
So again, it's very pale compared to the other ones. This one is the House of Petunia. This one right here is Gold Deposit and this one is Global Glow. Now we're gonna dive straight into the lip products, which I'm sure this is what you guys came for. So I have two lip glosses and two of the lipsticks. So I picked up the two nudes and I also figured that you guys would wanna see the nudes more as well. So the first one I'm gonna start off with is the Good Morning lipstick and it's in the orange packaging. And again, I will show you videos of it in different lighting, as you can see right now. And it is a gorgeous nude pink shade. And so this is what the packaging looks like. It is a bright orange, um, see-through clear case. And then this is the shade. And so MAC actually describes this one as a rosy pink. That's what they described it as. So I will be trying this one out, but looking at it, it's a really pretty shade. It kind of reminds me of Velvet Teddy by MAC. So I'm just gonna dive straight into it. It also says it is a matte finish. So this is a matte shade. look at that it is the most gorgeous neutral pink shade it's not too warm not too cool blue pink toned either um it is just the perfect pinky nude and of course this is gonna look different on every single skin tone but this is such a pretty pink and it's not a pale pink or washed out pink it is a very muted neutral flattering pink so let me know what you guys think. Again, this one is Good Morning, and it is a rosy pink and it's a matte as well. And to show you what it looks like swatched and these go on super creamy. This is what it looks like. Honestly, it reminds me of Velvet Teddy. So that is that one right there. And I absolutely love this one. I'm gonna be using this a lot and I will be doing a gloss on top afterwards as well. I think the best lip liner to go with that would be Max Boldly Bare, Max Oak, and Max Well. Those ones would be great to pair with that lipstick. So next we're gonna go into the other shade, which is I Got A Man. And this one is in the green packaging. I think this is gonna be the most perfect nude if you are of a medium to darker skin tone. And so MAC actually describes this one as a dark cocoa brownie nude. And it is also a matte finish. And you guys can see this is what it looks like. So it's a gorgeous, deep, chocolatey brown nude. I would say this reminds me kind of like MAC's taupe lipstick or maybe even Persistence by MAC. For sure, that's what they remind me of. And if you guys didn't know, I used to work at MAC, so that's how I know my shades and everything. So with this one, Chestnut Lip Liner, which is actually in the collection as well, would be the most perfect lip liner to pair with it. Also, Strip Down Lip Liner would work nicely with this as well. So let's just go ahead and try this one. Ooh, super 90s vibes. So this one is a really gorgeous shade. This is what it looks like. It literally is a cocoa brownie nude. It looks like a brownie sort of shade, a beautiful chocolate brown. And again, this is gonna look a little lighter on deeper skin tone. So this would be the perfect nude for you. I don't normally go for things like this, but I'm actually really, really liking it. And of course, if I went for a more neutral eye, then I feel like I would like it even better. Good moaning next to it so you guys can see. So there you go. So let's just go straight into the lip glosses. So I'm gonna swatch the lip glosses first by themselves and then I'll top it off on top of the lipsticks. So next, moving on to the lip glosses, this is what they look like. I'm gonna go in with this one first and this one is in the shade Gonna Love Me. As you can see, it is the most prettiest pink gloss. And this one is described by MAC as a nude pink with pearl. So as you guys saw, this is what it looks like beautiful shade and I'm just going to do a swatch on the back of my hand one swipe and it's literally the matching gloss to the lipstick the good morning lipstick I'm just going to go in and see I have nothing on my lips this just enhances your natural lips adds a little pink tint and some shimmer as well and this just gives me a very soft, pretty pink gloss. It gives me a very high shine, wet looking lip. My lips look really full and glossy and juicy. And I'm just living for this color. It is a very pretty pink, a very neutral pink once again. It's not too washed out, not too pink. So this one is gonna love me. 
and I'm going to be wearing this all the time. And so the next one that I'm going to be showing you guys is the one called But Ain't Got No Manners. It's a beautiful bronze lip gloss. It's not a brown nude lip gloss. It's literally a bronze, almost like metallic shimmery looking gloss and mac actually describes this one as a sheer nude with bronze and gold pearl this is what but ain't got no manners looks like on the hand so again same deal i'm just going to put it on top of my natural lip wow now this is a 90s lip like this on top of i got a man lipstick i'm going to try that for you guys after this this is so stunning and again bear in mind that this is going to look different on every single skin tone but i'm absolutely loving it it is the most gorgeous bronzy brown lip gloss with a ton of gold shimmer so i'm going to go in with the combo which they actually recommend to pair together so i'm going in with uh good morning and gonna love me now tell me tell me is this not the most flattering pink neutral lipstick and lip gloss ever if you guys were to get anything from this collection to get it as a set so get the lipstick and the lip gloss to make it a gorgeous little combo like this and let's try out the brown set so this one you guys need to get this as well so this is this combo right here, the brownie cocoa combo. Let me know down below right now which one is your favourite combo. I'm not usually used to these shades, but now I'm going to start wearing them. So let me know your thoughts down below. I always chat back with you guys. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know if you're going to get anything from this collection, if you already did. But this was such a fun video and fun collection. And honestly, congrats to Tiana Taylor because she did amazing collaborating with MAC on this collection. So let me know all your thoughts down below. I think that is it for me. Again, if you are new, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to stick around and see more videos from me. And also don't forget to stay safe. And I will speak to you guys all in my next video. Yeah.